Good morning, boys and girls. My name is Ms. Clark, and I'm a second grade teacher at the Hazel Township Early Learning Center. I would like to say a special shout out to all of my students. I hope that you're all staying safe and staying home, and I hope that all the students across the district are doing the same. Today, we are going to do a lesson on telling time. You see clocks everywhere, in your house, at a store, on your cell phone, on your tablets, even on computers. So we are going to talk about clocks and how to tell time. Let's go. So boys and girls, I wanna show you, this is what we call an analog clock. Analog clocks like this have two hands, just like you have two hands, so does a clock. This bigger hand, pointing straight up here, the blue one, is called the minute hand. The smaller hand, the red one, is called the hour hand. The hour hand shows you what the hour is. So when you're writing it, you write the hour first and then the minutes. So remember, the bigger hand is the minute clock, the smaller hand, the bigger hand is the minute hand, the smaller hand is the hour hand. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like when they move. As the hands move, you'll notice when the minute hand moves, so does the hour hand. They don't move together, though. When the minute hand makes a full rotation around the clock, that is when the hour hand will move to the next hour, or the next minute, or the next number on the clock. So boys and girls, as you can see, this is a blank clock. There are no hands on it, but that's okay. You can use it for a practice clock. It does have the hours on it though. A clock goes up to 12, and the 12 is always going to be at the top. These numbers are always going to be in this order on a clock. So we can count all the way around the clock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now if you look at these lines here, it kind of looks like maybe my clock is sliced into a pie or a pizza, and that's for a good reason. This will be in a link above this video if you would like to print this out and use it to practice at home. A fun way to do it would be to color it the way that I'm going to show you. If you color the different pizza slices different colors, this will help you know the hour. Whenever the hour hand is anywhere between the 12 and 1, that will help you to know that it is 12 for the hour. Same thing if the hour hand, which is the shorter hand, is anywhere between the 1 and 2, it will be 1 for the hour. We can think of these as rooms. This is the room that 12 lives in. This is the room that one lives in. This is the room that two lives in. So, for example, on our big clock here, when our minute hand is on the 12, that is o'clock. And when the hour hand is on the three, that is three. So we are at three, o'clock. So I can show you on our colorful clock here. If we draw the minute hand right on the 12 and our hour hand, remember it's shorter, right on the 3. That is how we know that it is 3 o'clock. Our hour hand is in the three room. I'll give you a minute to do that if you want to practice. You can do that for every hour. So when the hour hand is on a line that has the number on it, that is how you know it is that hour. So our hour hand 
is directly pointing at R1, and the minute hand is directly pointing at R12. That is how we know it is one o'clock. Now, if you don't want to draw on your clock, you can use a pencil and a pen, and you can move them around to do this on your own. I'm going to show you on our big clock different hours all the way around the clock. So, so we are going to start So we are going to start at 12 o'clock. Notice that my hour hand is hiding underneath of my minute hand. When both of the hands are pointing at the 12, it is 12 o'clock. And we write 12 o'clock like this. 12 o'clock. When my minute hand makes a full rotation around my clock, it goes back to the 12 and the hour hand is now pointing at the 1. That is how we know that it is now 1 o'clock. And we write 1 o'clock like so. So every time my minute hand makes a full rotation all the way around my clock, the hour is going to change. Do it one more time, all the way around. Now, we are at two o'clock. All right, boys and girls, so in your math book, you would see this page. All of these pages will be in the link above this video. You can use a paper and pencil to do this if you don't have a printer at home. That's totally fine, whatever works for you. So as you can see, we have our clock here, but some things are missing. So we need to go around and fill in the missing numbers for the hours. Remember, our clock always has 12 at the top. So our first number here is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So now the face of our clock is completely filled in. We are going to draw hands on the clock to show four o'clock. So remember, o'clock, the big hand is going to point to the 12, and then the hour, the little hand is going to point to the four, to show four o'clock. And remember, the hour hand does not all the way touch the number, only the minute hand. So now our clock shows four o'clock. So we will put four here. This reads four o'clock. We could also write it as four o'clock. On the next page, we will talk about the difference between an analog clock and a digital clock. On an analog clock, the hour hand points to the hour. It is shorter, that's the red one. The minute hand points to the minute, it is longer. So the minute hand is the blue one and it's longer. The hour hand is the red one and it's shorter. And maybe an easy way to remember this is that the word minute is longer than the word hour. 
On a digital clock, which might be something that you see more often than an analog clock, you see these on your stove, on your microwave. On a cell phone, this is usually what the clock looks like. A digital clock shows the hour and the minutes on a screen. The hour is the first number. It's here in red. The minutes are here in blue, and they come after the hour. The hour is here in red, and it comes before the minutes, which are here in blue. So both of these clocks, the analog and the digital clock, are showing three o'clock. So let's do some practice clocks down here, and we're going to do both the analog and the digital time. So let's look at our blue clock here. We have our hour hand, which is the shorter one, and our minute hand. And remember, when our minute hand is pointing at the 12, we know that it's o'clock. So what time do you think this clock is showing? That's right, it is showing nine o'clock. We know that it is nine o'clock because our hour hand is pointing directly to the nine and our minute hand is pointing directly to the 12. To write that on our digital clock, we will write nine followed by two zeros. Let's try another one with the yellow clock. Let's look at this clock. What time do you think this clock is showing? If you said 11 o'clock, you're right. Our hour hand is pointing directly to the 11, and our minute hand is pointing directly to the 12. If you need a little help, above the 12, write a double zero like this to remind yourself that when the minute hand is on the 12, it is o'clock. To show this on our digital clock, we will write the hour first, which is 11, and then we will write the minutes after, which are zero, zero for o'clock. Let's try one more. Let's look at this orange clock. What time do you think the orange clock is showing? If you said six o'clock, you're right again. The hour hand is pointing directly to the six and the minute hand is pointing directly at the 12. Kind of looks like it's cutting the clock right in half. We will write six o'clock down here, and on our digital clock, we'll write the hour, which is six, and the minutes, which are zero, zero, to show o'clock. Great job, boys and girls. I'm sure you did a wonderful job with these. All right, boys and girls, so now we're gonna try some problems on our own. I want you to look at this first clock. The red clock. What time do you think this clock is showing? Remember, if it helps you, put our two little dots and the zero, zero when the minute hand is pointing at the 12. That way we know it's going to be o'clock. If you said this clock was showing one o'clock, awesome job, it is showing one o'clock. Our hour hand is pointing directly at the one and the minute hand is pointing at the 12. We write the one down here to say one o'clock, and on our digital clock, we write the hour as one and the minutes as zero, zero. Let's try again with the yellow clock. I'm gonna give you a minute to tell me what you think this clock is showing. The minute hand is on the 12 and the hour hand is on the eight. If you said eight o'clock, awesome again. The hour is eight and the minutes are zero, zero. This clock is showing eight o'clock. Let's try the purple one. Might be a little tricky. Make sure you see that both hands are pointing at the 12. If you said 12 o'clock, great job. Couldn't trick you on that one. The hour is 12 and the minutes are zero, zero. It is 12 o'clock. 
Let's try a few more. This time, you need to draw the hands on the clock and then write the time on the digital clock. So, this clock would like you to show five o'clock. I'll give you a minute to draw those hands and write the time on the digital clock. Remember for o'clock, our big minute hand is always going to point at the 12, and our hour hand, a little shorter, is going to point directly at the hour, which is five o'clock. So five o'clock. And our digital clock will read five, o'clock. Let's see if you can do this clock. They're asking you to draw the hands and write the time to show 10 o'clock. Go ahead and do that now. And remember, try and keep your hands on your clock as straight as you can. Whenever we're showing o'clock, our minute hand points directly at the 12 and our hour hand is going to point to the 10 to show 10 o'clock. Our digital clock will show 10 for the hour and 00, zero for the minutes, 10 o'clock. All right, let's try one more. I'm sure you're getting really good at this by now. Let's try the blue clock. They would like you to show three o'clock. Draw your hands nice and straight to show three o'clock. You got it again, minute hand on the 12 and the hour hand pointing directly at our three. Kind of looks like an uppercase L. This clock is now showing three o'clock. Our hour is three and our minutes are zero, zero. Awesome job, boys and girls. All right, boys and girls, so our colorful clock is back. And I don't know if you noticed when Ms. Clark was showing you this the first time, but I have these other numbers, and I know some of them are hard to see, but I have these other smaller numbers written around the outside. Now for today, I don't want you to pay attention to any of the other numbers around the outside, except for down here, where I have 30, and up here, where I have the double zero. Now we know the double zero from o'clock, and we know that when the minute hand, the big hand, is pointing to the 12, that it is double zero o'clock for the minutes. Well, today we're gonna to talk about what happens when the minute hand is pointing directly to the six. And I can tell you, it means that the minutes are going to be 30. A full clock, one hour, when we go all the way around the clock is 60 minutes. Half of 60 is 30. So when we go halfway around our clock with our minute hand, it is going to be pointing to the six and say 30 minutes. We know that half an hour or 30 minutes have passed. Let me show that to you on the big clock. Now here on our big clock, you see those same small numbers around the outside. At the top here, it might say 60. But that's just to let you know that a full hour is 60 minutes. But you can remember it as double zero when we write the minutes. Down here, we still have our 30. So right now, our clock is showing what time? Two o'clock, good job. Now, when our minute hand gets halfway around our clock and is pointing to the six, that means the minutes are 30. So if we are going to write that time, our hour is going to be two. Now I know it's tricky because it's between the two and the three, but we'll talk about that in a minute. So to write this time, our time is 2.30 on this clock right now. Our hour hand is in the two's house or in the two's room and our minute hand is pointing to the six, which as we know is halfway around our clock, so it is 30 minutes. Let me show you another one. So if we start all the way at three o'clock and we go halfway around our clock again, so 
Our hour hand is on our three, our minute hand is on our 12. Let's go halfway around again. Down to the six. What time is this clock showing? Well, our hour hand is still in our threes house. So this clock is showing three, 30. Because we have gone halfway around our clock and have used 30 minutes of this hour, half of this hour. All right, so our colorful clock is back. And remember that each hour has its own room that it lives in, in our clock house. So if our hour hand is anywhere between the one and two, it lives in the one room. If our hour hand is anywhere between this two and three, it lives in the two room. I know it can be a little tricky when you see it just on a regular clock, which is why this is a good way to think about it. So if you see a clock and our hour hand is between the two and the three and our minute hand is on the six, it can be a little tricky to know what the hour is. But if you look on our clock here, and I draw it just like how we have it on our clock. Our hour hand is like this and our minute hand is like this. We can see that our hour hand is in the two room. So we know that this clock is showing 2.30. Our hour hand is in the two room and our minute hand is on our six, which as we know means the minutes are 30. All right, so let's try a couple more because I know that this can be a little tricky. So if our clock is on, what time is this clock showing? Four o'clock, good job. But once our minute hand moves halfway around the clock, remember our hour hand moves too. Now our hour hand is between the four and the five. And like I said, it can be a little tricky to know what's right for the hour. Well, I'm going to draw the same time on our colorful clock. And remember, if you don't wanna write on your colorful clock, you can use pens and pencils or anything you have crayons to use as the hour and minute hand so you can move them around on your colorful clock. So let's draw it. We'll draw our minute hand first because that's the easiest. That's straight down to the six. Our hour hand is the one that's a little tricky. Our hour hand is pointing between our four and five. But we can look at this and know that we are going to write four as our hour because our hour hand is still in the four room. So when we write this time, it is going to say four, and then remember when our minute hand is on our six, it shows 30 minutes, four, 30. Let's do another one. I don't know about you, but I think this can be kind of fun. Let's look at our clock again. Let's go to seven o'clock. When our minute hand goes halfway around our clock again, our hour hand is between our seven and eight. Let's draw it on our colorful clock or use those crayons to show the time in the minute and hour hand. We'll draw our minute hand again because that's the easy peasy one. Our minute hand is pointing directly to the six, but our hour hand is between the seven and the eight. So you're gonna start in the middle and draw your hour hand a little shorter, pointing between the seven and the eight. Again, it can be a little tricky on here to see what the hour should be. But once you look here, you can tell that our hour hand is right in the seven house. So we know without a doubt, our hour is going to be seven. So when we write this time, we are going to write 7.30. Feel free to try as many as you want on your own. Keep switching it up. One that can be kind of tricky is to do 
Let's try another one. 11 o'clock. So if you want to, set your colorful clock now to show 11 o'clock. And then you can move the hands as I move mine. All right. You all set up? So here, our clock is showing 11 o'clock. Our hour hand is pointing to the 11, and the minute hand is directly on the 12. Let's move our minute hand halfway around our clock down to the 6. And remember, we know it's halfway because it's directly across from the 12, and also 6 is half of 12, right? So this can be a little tricky. Let's draw it on our colorful clock. Easy peasy minute hand directly on the 6. And our hour hand between the 11 and 12. Again, on this clock, it can be a little tricky. But when we look here, we know that our hour hand is in the 11 room. And when we write our time, it is going to say 11, 30. All right, let's try some from our book now. All right, so again, the link to this page is going to be above this video. So let's do some practice work from our book. You can show time to the half hour. One half hour is 30 minutes. These clocks show half past two. Look at the analog clock. Remember, it can be a little tricky to tell when the hour hand is between the two and three. But if we look at our colorful clock, we know that when the hour hand is between the two and three, it's still in the two room. The hour hand points between the two and three. The minute hand points directly to the six. We know that to write this time or to put it on a digital clock, we write the hour first, which is two, and the minutes, which are 30. If it helps you when you're doing this, draw your lines on your clock and make your rooms. Then you can still see that the hour hand is between the two and three and in the two room. Let's try some examples down here at the bottom. Let's look at our orange clock. Our hour hand is between the 9 and 10, and our minute hand is pointing directly to the 6. What time is this clock showing? If you said 9.30 or half past 9, you are correct. Remember, if you need to draw your lines to show your rooms, that's totally okay. Our, minute, our hour hand is between the 9 and 10, so that is how we know that the hour is nine, because it's still in the nine room. Let's try the green clock. What time is this clock showing? If you said 1.30 or half past one, because remember, we are halfway past one o'clock, awesome job. All right, let's do one more. Look at the red clock. What time is this clock showing? If you said 6.30, amazing. Write the six for the hour, 30 for the minutes, and half past six, because it's going to be the hour, half past six. Now I'd like you to go to your teacher's website and find some extra activities there to help you work on your time-telling skills. Thanks for watching.